And this is my uh, Tetra community tank. I just did a rescape. Because, um, I'm getting tired of the uh, you know the old uh, scape that I had. Uh, right now I just put some bamboos in it and uh, a couple of rocks. And I moved my uh, Bolivian ram on this tank because uh, he's being bullied in the uh, uh, South American cichlid tank. Uh, yeah, he was in bad shape. Uh, most of his fins were nipped off. So I had to put him here. Now nobody bothers him. And he's right there by the log. And uh, I got some few other fishes here. Um, like the uh, pearl goby. Which is right there in the bottom right corner. Or left corner, sorry. And then the rest... Uh, are mostly tetras i do have a rainbow shark in here also helps uh clean uh, the tank you know most of the uh leftover food he's the one that uh, cleans it along with the uh yo-yo loach and i do have uh three uh bumblebee gobies in this tank along with uh, two panda garas and I do have a rubber lip placo somewhere hiding. Um, there should be two uh, coolie loach, black coolie loach, and there should be one uh, banded coolie loach in there also, and uh, a uh, dojo loach. I do have an albino before, but uh, it jumped out a couple of days ago, so it ended up dying because uh, that was at work. I didn't notice. Uh, it had a lid, uh, but for some reason it still got out. Now, I took out the lid because I had the bamboo plants. So hopefully none of these guys jump out. But yeah, um, for some reason I can't keep uh, neon, not neon, but uh, cardinal tetras in this tank. They, I had them, I have 10 of them. They died one by one for some reason, I don't know why. But I end up buying some more and put it on my uh, South American cichlid tank, and they they survived, along with uh, some ember tetras on that tank also. But I end up buying a uh, jewel cichlid, and uh, one by one they disappeared. So I'm guessing yes, the jewel cichlid ate my tetras in that uh, South American cichlid tank.